Hey, what's up guys? I'm going to show you how to use OBS with the Elgato HD 60S Plus game capture card. The first thing you want to do is go to the OBS website and download the one for Mac or Windows, if that's what you're using. But since I'm doing it on a MacBook, I'll be talking about that. Once you download it, it'll be in your downloads folder. After that, you want to add it to your applications folder. Once that's done, open up OBS. When you're in OBS, on the bottom left here under sources, click the plus and select the video capture device. Then, click the device and select HD60S Plus, or whatever capture card you're using. Change the preset to 1920 by 1080 and then click OK. You want to maximize the red box so you can see the preview easily. Then, you want to go to the settings and click Output. Change recording quality to indistinguishable. Don't do lossless because the files are going to be extremely large with that. After that, under Format, choose what you want. I'm using MP4 because I use iMovie to edit my files, but you can use MKV if that's what you prefer. And then leave the encoder as it is. Under video, you can change the resolution to the maximum resolution which your device supports. Under downscale filter, you can change it to sharpened scaling and the FPS I just left it at 30. Under the advanced, leave the format as NV12. And if you are having issues with the audio, go to the audio tab under mic and auxiliary audio, select the game capture card. If you want to record your own voice while recording, then you want to select at under audio 2. So if you're using an external mic or whatever, you can click it under there. Once that's done, you should be ready to start recording. If for any reason your audio isn't working, then open up the settings on your MacBook and go to sound. And make sure the input is on the game capture card. If you're having issues with the colors being dull or blurry, you can right click inside the red box and select filters and then add in sharpening effect to get rid of the blurry picture. And add in color correction to change the colors, so you can change the saturation here. You can also click the eye icon to see how it looks with your changes versus without them. And if you want to remove something, just the minus sign. Once all that is done, then you are set to start recording. If you found this video helpful, be sure to leave a thumbs up. If you have a question, leave me a comment and I'll try to answer it as best as I can. Thanks for watching.